September 14th, Valentine's Day, but not everybody is celebrating. Some have a real aversion to Valentine's Day. Others may feel like they're missing out or can't measure up. But we're going to get some valuable insight now from psychologist Dr. Julie Morrison. Dr. Morrison, thanks for coming back sure and chatting. Thing. This can be a tough day for a lot of people. Sure. Valentine's Day, if you don't have a significant other, can be a little harsh. You know, you can be depressed. Yeah. How do you keep it in perspective? Well, I think it's also, we want to remember that just like any other holiday, it might bring up loss. It might bring up all sorts of things, right? And so any of those sort of holidays can, can trigger that. I think that, you know, in terms of this idea of, uh, you know, Valentine's Day is hard if you're alone. I yeah. think one of the challenges is the constant comparison of what's out there. Mm. People are going to get bombarded, right, with, um, you know, Valentine's stuff on Instagram and all these other things, and they're going to sit there and say, look what they have that I don't have. Right. People have to keep in perspective that that's being presented to them. It's almost being marketed. Um, but I think really it's an opportunity for people to think about what they want, you know, to, to sit and think about, you know, okay, maybe I'm not in a relationship right now, but what do I want from that? Why am I looking? What am right, I looking right. for? Social media, and you talked about it a little yeah. bit here, particularly for teens mm -hmm. and maybe even more so for girls, right? They're scrolling constantly, image after image. You know, they see others together. They feel like everybody's got something they don't have. What's your best advice? I mean, some girls at that age, teenagers, they're dreading this day and they see everybody else seeming happy. Well, I think that's the thing, though, is that there's this magical, mystical, mythical idea of what relationships are for teens. Mm -hmm. What they don't remember is there's, you know, there's so much that we get from our relationships, but relationships can be hard, right? And I think that they sit there and think, if I only had this, I'd feel happier or this would mean something better for me you know Valentine's Day is a day where there's a lot of shoulds right so be it these teens that are in relationships new relationships or people who've been in relationships for a while yeah. they sit there and say should this look this way I should have presents waiting for me today right because it's Valentine's Day where are the roses where are they my right? chocolates right <laughs> but those shoulds are sort of an opportunity for people to just feel very challenged about well if I don't hit that mainstream or I don't if I don't have what somebody else's partner gave to them does that mean my partner doesn't love me or care about me um, or if these teens see a, a friend who has a relationship and think well what's so great about them and not so great about me right and I think it's important for us to recognize that this is the same thing that a lot of our kids struggle with across the year, right? Not just Valentine's Day. What I would encourage them to think about is that Valentine's Day is one day out of the year that our culture is a buzz about telling someone that you care about them. Yeah. But guess what? Tomorrow on February 15th, it's also a great day for that. Right, you and can share that of, love every that's day. That's right, and there's a lot of people in a lot of different relationships where you get your needs met that don't have to be, um, you know, your romantic relationship. And I think I would encourage these kids to recognize that. That's important, and something that, you know, if you don't have a significant other, you can enjoy sometimes with your children. You can do something for your pet. You can still do something nice for someone else. It might make you feel better, too. Let's remember, you are important to someone or something. And, and if that someone or something cannot give you roses and chocolate, that doesn't mean you're not important. And you're so let's valuable. drop some right. of those shoulds. Love comes in all different forms and it everybody's sure valuable. Dr. Absolutely. Morrison, great insight as always. Thank you so much for coming in. Sure.